Oh, there's a crack in the wall. It's probably a special water type Pokemon could widen in the crack. What is it though? I don't have a special water type Pokemon. Bro, I don't know how to read unknown. Hold up. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. I'm ready for you. Groot's ready, I'm ready. Butterfree, go! Yo, whoa! What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. Everybody, guys, that episode of our Pokemon Xenoverse Nuzlocke Let's Play. If you guys are excited for this one, and I know you guys are, hit that like button down below and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new as we post Pokemon Xenoverse every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday with bonus episodes on Sunday. And your like goal for today is going to be 6,000 likes. I know you guys can do that. You guys have been absolutely crushing this series. And I hope you guys are excited for another episode of Xenoverse. Before I jump into it, for those who don't know, we are actually going to take on the next gym, which is the uh, the little pyramid up here somewhere. There's a pyramid somewhere. I don't know where it is. But we're going to take on the next gym. I think your name is Dufar, if I'm not mistaken. But I did want to train up a little bit. Um, I, I, I don't know how far I'm going to go, but as you can see, I kind of tweaked the team. I was going to train up some of these with the lucky egg and just train up some of the extra Pokemon. But I did want to go and use our mystery gift. There's a brand new mystery gift that you guys can use. And the code is... EV25 Xenoverse. Let's see if that works. That's it's not valid. Maybe all caps. Hey, I did it. It's all caps, and you do indeed get a very special EV. And there it is. Retro EV is here. Now I don't know what I'm supposed to do with Retro EV, but it seems pretty cool. Um, so I'll go take a look at it in the PC. And here is Retro Eevee from Weedle Team has run away and it just has present and tail whip and stuff and maybe it evolves into like a Retro Eevee Lucian. I'm not really sure what to do with it. But what I am sure of is I have some amazing Pokemon to train up and I think, what level are you? 36. So my boy Lancelot actually evolves soon and I do kind of want to evolve him um, maybe before the gym. I think that that might not be a bad play. But I also realized, so we have Ryoko and we have of course Darwin. It's a couple really good Pokemon. Paper Cut. I mean, we've got some really good Pokemon on the bench. So, I read the comments. A lot of people want me to try to use some of these guys. I'm going to train for a little bit. I'm not going to say that we're going to train for a long period of time. But I'll do a little bit of grinding. We'll see kind of where we net out. And then we'll uh, take on the gym. So, let's do it. All right. So, I'm going to be totally real. I was actually training. And uh, Ryoko was taking... It, it's not even close. Like, I got legit, like, two levels. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just keep going. Because these Pokemon, uh, well, listen, uh, some of these dragon types, they take a really long time to train up and level up, and it's just not what I want to do right now. So I think what I want to do is, guys, I have the experience share on Lancelot. It's by far our highest level. I want to get him to his evolved form, which I think is 38. And then at that point, I can then put the experience share on one member of the team. We could basically run with a five-member team for a little bit and uh, just kind of boost up one of the last Pokemon. So I think without further ado, it's time to head into this gym, and there is the gym leader right there. Welcome back, A-Drive. So tell me, did you manage to meet Gramps? I did. And I have a Scalion now to show of it. So that's pretty cool. You gained a new power on the volcano. This is fabulous. I knew that Gramps would have brought the full potential out of you. I'm sure you're going to solve the canyon problem in the blink of an eye now. But first, I would really like to touch this new power of yours. So I'm waiting for you inside the gym. I can assure you it won't be that easy. I'll see you inside. All right, so you guys did tell me when I'm inside this gym to really explore. Uh, check all the pots, check the cracks in the wall. Uh, we got a hyper potion here. So I don't know what that all entails, but we're gonna click every little thing I could possibly interact with. This guy here, he's, he's gonna help us out. I think she has water types. So she is the water type specialist. Consider crushing her with electric or sound types. I wanted to test your insight because you're really gonna need it in this gym. Oh boy. Okay, well, this gym, Looking to be pretty tricky, so let's get it started. I mean, I have Groot. Oh god, I'm very scared. I was just gonna use Groot, basically. So, let's see how it goes, I guess. Meh. Here you come, Challenger. The challenge of the Ishtar Gym is based on our ancestors' games. The first one you're gonna do is called the Game of Farfetch'd. The floor is dotted with platforms depicting the effigy of various Pokemon where you need to find your way on. Only by reading and decrypting in the right way the clues in these pillars. You will know which road to take, but if you miss your step, you'll find your own, the fate you're destined to. Try your best and watch your steps. Oh, lovely. Oh, God. Walk on the... What does that say? Walk on the... Grass. Walk on the grass, it says. Walk on the grass. Oh, God. There's, there's all sorts of Pokemon everywhere. There's a, a ladder going down. It says walk on the grass. This was to check all the different jars. We found soda pops. 
What else we got? Oh, this is definitely like the exit for when you fail. Oh, he's gonna battle me over the ledge? How does that work? All right, let's see if these guys all have water types. Fida, he's got a Gyarados. Okay, that is not simply a water type. That is a water flying type. And he's got Intimidate. <laughs> I don't know why I said it that way. I'm just gonna click Will-O-Wisp and hope we don't miss. He's got Crunch. Okay. And I hit the Willow. That's all we needed. As long as we hit the Willow, we're good. We'll get a nice little Will-O-Wisp on him. Kind of chip away a little bit here. Um, I'm gonna play this one very safely, shouldn't I? I mean, Fibrato hits super, four times super effective, right? Like, let's just go Fibrato. He's burned now. He's not really an issue when he's burned. As long as he doesn't crit, right? He's gonna Ice Fang, we resist. Easy, no, no freeze, no flinch. Well, he can't flinch, because, you know. Now I get to use that super fun scream move, Primal Scream. He's gonna crunch us again, but it doesn't, but he crits us, he does crit us. And now we can Primal Scream. This is such a busted attack, dude. And I have just concluded that I might be underleveled, actually. I thought I was overleveled, now I feel like I might be underleveled. I may have to train up before I actually take on the gym leader, but I'm gonna keep exploring. I think we can at least get through the trainers first. Oh, I just fell down. I don't really know what I did wrong. <laughs> this is the guy I just battled, though. Oh, walk on the grass. These are grass types. Oh, wait. Uh, Nani? All right, well, I got through the first part. Walk on the fire. Walk on the fire, it says. And everyone has me all anxious about checking everything. Okay, so walking on the fire is this guy and this guy. And then, then Volcarona is fire. And now we're over here. And an elixir inside the jar, that's kind of cool. Walk on the water. Okay, well, I'll do that shortly. I gotta battle this bro. When alone, nothing happens, but together, an odd power emerges and intensifies. All right, good sir. Let's see what kind of odd power you have. Advisor Cheris has a Starmie. Now that I can get behind, right? Because I got Groot, and Groot's like, I don't care about no Starmie. Catch this horn leech to the face. Oh, he's gonna confuse Raimi. Like, the advisor that he is, being very annoying. And I'm gonna horn leech his face in. Obliterated! Groot obliterates! It's like uh, Exodia, but cooler. And Lancelot gets a lot of XP there. We get the lucky egg boost, which was quite nice. And we'll keep exploring. I have to walk on water, it said. Oh, goodness. Okay, I see the water types, at least. Uh, that wasn't a water type, clearly. Womp womp. Oh my god, look at this guy running back and forth. He's so fast. I was waiting for a trainer to fall down. My man, you were you were you were not waiting. <laughs> my man was sprinting. He's got a core fish. He was he was not waiting for someone to drop down. He was like, my whole life is for this moment right here. To see if someone is gonna fall down so I can battle them. Well, luckily for me, your core fish probably not gonna like this. Oh, he's gonna switch out into Gyarados, making the plays, dude. They always do. They always do. Well, I'm in the same scenario I feel like I'm always in against Gyarados, where I just basically have to hope that I can burn him with Will-O-Wisp. He's gonna crunch. Groot eats it like he always does. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, ladies and gentlemen. Do not mess with the legendary Groot. Uh, who do I want to go? Let's just Fibrato. I mean, listen, I'll just tackle these Gyarados the same way I'm gonna tackle them every time. I'm gonna just go with my man Fibrato. And he's gonna Ice Fang, thinking that he's all fancy. And then I'm gonna hit him with some fierceness. In fact, in this case, I'm actually gonna go for the Jet Strike, because I think this will be enough. It is, yeah, it's four times super effective, right? We're super effective against flying er, and, and water, so. And here comes that Core Fish again. And I think we just need to be very smart in this gym, and just Vibrato is gonna be so good. Probably should train before I take on the gym leader, though, because I'm thinking that, I, like I said, I might be just a wee bit underleveled here. Luck does not exist. Exist a moment when preparation meets opportunity. I love that. I'm a big believer in that. That, uh, well, I mean, there's always the intangible factor of luck. Well, there's a standard people move. We're going to be careful with this. Um, but I do believe that uh, it's really about preparation and opportunity, and if you're not prepared, well... You know, for some people, you might think that it's a great opportunity. Other people might not be. So I, I really I really do believe that. I think that's a really good sentiment for sure. But I got this Leech Seed off. I do have to be mindful. This thing does get counter. Although, I'll be real. Without it having... I don't really see how he can I'm a ghost type. So I don't really see what this thing does to me. He's going to curse again. He's just going to keep cursing up. I got Leech Seed on him. I don't think this Pukamook is an issue. I have kind of the perfect Pokemon for this. Um, with Groot. Because, he, like I said, he can't counter me. So I can't imagine he can beat me. 
with his little Pukamuku. Yeah, he can't. We're just gonna beat that thing. But it could have innards out. Yeah, and it does. And that's something we have to be careful of. If we do face Nufar and she has a Pukamuku, gotta be very mindful of potential innards out. And Landslot to 37, one level away from potentially evolving, which is what you guys told me, so I'm excited about that. And this says, the last is part of two... I'm so bad at reading this. The... Hold on. Bro, I don't know how to read unknown. Hold up. <laughs> Okay, so I get it. It says the luck is part of the game. I had to actually pull up the unknown alphabet. So that just means I have to get lucky? Is that what that means? Uh, I got unlucky. This might take a while, team. Oh, there's a crack in the wall. It's probably a special water type Pokemon can widen the crack. What is it though? I don't have a special water type Pokemon. Do I have to go get Riptide? I think I have to go get Riptide and come back. You'll pay for your mistake with the currency of defeat. All right, so I remember you guys told me about a crack in the wall. That's got to be the one. I don't know if that's where the actual gym leader is, but it's something worth noting. If it's where the gym leader is, I don't want to have Riptide on the team, but otherwise I do. So I am going to... I probably should have switched, actually. Let me be real here. That was a bad decision. I flinched. All right, well, now I'm in trouble because if he has Pursuit, I'm going to be kind of annoyed, but um, I would imagine Fibrato is good here, right? I would imagine. No Pursuit. Um, let's see here. Let's beat this Carvana and this trainer, and then I'm gonna go grab Riptide, because... Excuse me? That was some damage! Holy shenanigans, bro. Um... How do I go to the next page of medicine? I don't even know how to do this. There we go. Um, why don't I use a Hyper Potion here? Because I'm not about to get wrecked by this little dude. He really just crit me there. He's gonna bite again. I mean, I, I'm gonna just... Can you stop that? Like, can you not just... Just bite me? Like, what is that? What is my switch into that? I don't have one. Just don't cr like, just don't crit me this time. You better not crit me three times in a row, because that's that's nonsense. All right, I probably one shot him with Jet Strike, but I'm worried about like rough skin and stuff. Yeah, exactly. He had rough skin. I knew it. I knew that was what was gonna happen. Do you have Riptide? Barragiri. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we face this thing. I'm just gonna Primal Scream. Like, I don't think he's gonna live this. If he's a Water type, there's no way he's gonna want to take this. Oh wait, he took that like a champ. I'm scared. Infestation. Okay, we're fine. Jeez, what a roller coaster already. This little beer Gary. But luckily, I mean, listen, I think this primal scream is such a good move, dude. Like, this is so strong. So strong, bro. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, random person. Alright, so I know I gotta go through that crack in the wall. I'm gonna go grab a water type. We'll explore that a little bit. Alright, let's see if this works. I do have a water type. I I need a special water type. It can't just be any. I'm pretty sure Riptide is a water type, isn't he? He is a water type. What special water type do I need? That's really annoying. Probably a special water type Pokemon could widen the crack in the wall. What though? I feel like Beery Geary is probably the bro, but like, what water type? All right, so I went down this way. I'm gonna take a look down here and see what's good. Uh, just a bunch of jars. Oh, maybe this is a bunch of items. That'd be kind of cool. If this is like a loot chamber. Oh, uh, cosmic. It's a cosmic ball. A Pokeball inspired by a Smith's project makes Pokemon that evolve using the Moonstone easier to catch. Oh, that's really cool, actually. Sweet. And we got nuggets. Oh, yeah. We found the money, baby. And a big nugget. Hey. Okay. So we hit the loot room. Very nice. So, guys, I have no idea what water Pokemon I need to break open that wall. I, I, I tried Riptide. I thought that was the one. I do think it's like that weird little fish bro, like the one that they have in this gym, Birigiri or whatever. But I have no idea where to even catch that thing. I mean, I guess I could look at the Poke West and see if I could find him. But I can't fish in this city. And I I mean, obviously I can get one for the purposes of like just having one for this gym. But I don't even know where I'm supposed to get it. Okay, so it looks like this dude is actually found on a previous route fishing. So maybe I'll go back and try to catch one of them. Because I simply like, I, I just don't feel like I can explore the rest of this gym without figuring out what's going on with this guy. Like... I don't know. I feel like it's got to be this dude, though. So let me go do a little detour and see if I can figure out how to get to that guy. Hey, there's the Beery Geary. I legit just tweeted out to ask Twitter if Beery Geary was the Pokemon I needed because I've spent so long looking for it already. Uh, I'm just going to eat an Ultra Ball at it. We're going to catch this thing and see if it's going to be the one. I did just tweet it out to see. I told people don't give me spoilers. I just want to know if this is the Pokemon that I need. I think it is. I do think it's Beery Geary just off of my hunch. I don't know for sure, but this is my guess. So let's catch this and we'll try and see if this is going to get us through that crack in the wall. Yeah, he is. Oh, I didn't know he was electric water. Okay, well, that's really good information 
that we now know that he's electric water he's just gonna go to the pc so that's fine so we don't really need him but uh let's head back to let's head back to the city and see this is really crazy though like for the i can't even think of the last time i played a pokemon game where like there was a mystery for me to solve this is amazing i mean granted i i am asking on twitter because your boy needs something, but let's see if this works because Riptide didn't work. I don't know why Riptide didn't work, but maybe this guy will work. Please work. It didn't work. It, nothing actually happened. I, I am so stumped right now. Like how? How am I supposed to get through this crack in the wall? I don't understand. All right, last try for now. I got Totodile with me. Yeah, Totodile ain't gonna do it either, man. I don't know what it is, guys. Someone on Twitter said that they had the water starter do it, but like, how is that possible? I don't have the water starter, so how could I possibly do that? People are saying the water starter. I had two different people say the water starter, but your boy don't have the water starter, so how am I supposed to get through that door? Okay, so I got to the other side of that. I, I, I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on Twitter and see if there's any insight later. Oh, there's another guy here. Okay, uh, well, Groot's ready, and Lancelot is almost evolved, guys. Like, I'm so excited for Lancelot to evolve, but let's see what's going on down here. You've been able to reach here, which means you've completed the first challenge. Now let's move on to the second game. The Unknown Checkers. The rules are simple. You have to move on the squares following the unknown writing from A to Z. However, the path is fraught with pitfalls and some teleports might mislead you, making you retrace your own steps. Your hunch and luck are keys for this game. That doesn't help me. What does this button do? Oh God, okay. H, what am I, how am I supposed to even begin figuring this out and I'm back to the beginning okay so now I know if I go to the bottom one I come back the unknown writing will amplify my power I don't know if I should be worried what do you have I Idris he's got an artillery Artillery's pretty uh pretty strong man oftentimes can carry a handful of different moves and has uh, some pretty strong stuff like Moody. I'm gonna just click Horn Leech, which <laughs> I'm over here gassing up Octillery team, and we legit just one shot him. Guys, I'm gonna pass the quest today to you guys while I continue to explore this gym. Who is your favorite Water type Pokemon? Let me know in the comments section below. For me, I gotta say I love me some Araquanid. I really do. I think Araquanid is amazing, so I think I'm gonna say Araquanid. But big shout out to my man Squirtle, of course, and. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Raccoonid. Between these letters, I'm nothing but an apostrophe. Between these letters, you're nothing but an apostrophe. I don't know what that means, but I'll click this button. All right, now I'm on this one, so I basically have to guess which way do I go. Okay, I'm back to E. And now I'm back to this one. And now I'm here, which is this one. I'm gonna go this side. Another trainer, you want some advice? Never challenge an advisor. So I think I am progressing here by just simply getting lucky, but I'm not sure how to feel about it. He's got a float soul, okay? So I mean, so far we're facing like level 32s-ish, so on and so forth, so we're actually okay. Let's go for the Horn Leech. He probably, oh, he just Aqua Jets, we're fine. Uh, I thought he was gonna have something else. Um, I think we gotta be really close to the gym. Like I would think that we've gotta be like pretty darn close to the gym leader. I do wanna evolve. Lancelot before I face the gym though because I think having that strong level is gonna be worthwhile. Oh boy I'm 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 here on this letter with four buttons, and I don't know which one to choose. I have no idea what I'm doing Oh, oh, it brought me back to the beginning. No <laughs> All right, I found another advisor our names cross these platforms like in a crossword puzzle So I'm starting to remember it internally kind of the different options I have so that's something worthwhile He's got a Sharpedo now that is something that I have to be very scared of um, because I don't know if I think Groot is a good bet here. Um, yeah, I mean, I would love to just stay in and click attack, but the problem is, like, if he goes for, if he goes for a dark type move, it could actually really hurt. I think I have to go Lancelot, actually, which I've been trying to not use Lancelot because he's so close to evolving, and what a stupid thing it would be for him to die right now. He's gonna go for a bite, okay. It doesn't do too much. I think I can live one hit, so let's go for the power-up punch. He goes for bite again. Just don't flinch me. Oh, that crits me. Why do these always crit, dude? I'm gonna get a big power-up punch off. I almost knocked him out. But you know what? I'm gonna just play this super duper safe because he's got rough skin. So I'm not gonna mess with this. I'm just gonna go straight up into Vibrato and then I'm just gonna go for the Jet Strike. Like, why am I gonna let this Sharpedo knock out something? That's so stupid. Sharpedo's really strong, as you can see. So let's just go for Jet Strike and finish him off. 
I'll take some rough skin, but I at least beat the Sharpedo. Level 33, that, that could be very problematic for us. Uh, but Gru gets some good experience. Lancelot is almost leveled up, dude. So close. All right, another advisor here. I'm the only one that stands between you and the end of this game. Oh, I found the end. Oh my goodness, okay. This is Lau and he has a Bibarel, which I'm a-okay with because I got the homie Grootskis. And I think Groot is in a prime position to just destroy Bibarel. He's gonna yawn me, but I don't know if Bibarel's gonna take two Horn Leeches or even one, really. Yeah, he just got straight up wrecked. See you later, Bibarel. Aim is stressing. Hopefully that's enough for Lancelot. It's not enough for Lancelot, so close. You can move your checker now. Does that mean I'm there? I'm, it's, I'm in the same spot I've been, dog. Oh my God, a staircase! Uh, okay. How should I feel about this? Is this, do I get an encounter here? A bunch of executors everywhere. This is sick. Is that the gym leader? That's not the gym leader? I'm very concerned, but do I get an encounter here? I feel like I do. I'm giving myself an encounter. Let's see what it is. Is there encounters here? Oh, you know what? I don't even think there's any encounters, team. Womp womp. All right, well, I think the next person is, uh... Oh, dude, we're evolving on the next level. You know what? Let's get it. Let's put Fibrato in the front. And let's see what this trainer has in store for us. You've skillfully overcome the second challenge, too. And now there's the third and final game, the Palm Tree game. As you can see, the area of the pyramid is green and lush due to the miraculous water flowing here. The water, which rich, which is rich nutrients, also attracts Executar from far away. They're the real stars of this game. Some of them hide the access to a few rooms, which you have to get three water pearls. Once you have all three of them, you'll finally be able to reach the queen. I can only wish you well, A-Drive. Well, you're seeing me in the guise of Abbas, queen's advisor, but you actually know me by another name. Joel, I still owe you for helping the city. That's why I'll repay my debt with a Pokemon battle now. So this is the dude that was like the first guy that we ran into this is like very game of thrones like he's got a crawdaunt but you know what like that's fine he's level 34 dude like this is no joke but i think primal scream just one shots and we're faster crawdaunt's pretty slow but a very strong pokemon and we do just one shot so i need to get fibrato some levels here though i i don't really think i can advance but now we are learning counter yes yeah, so i'm gonna teach him counter because you guys told me he evolves at this level i don't know if counter is an important piece to that but i'm gonna get rid of protect at this point and we are finally gonna get, hopefully, the evolved form of our beefle, Lancelot! Go big, baby! Let me see you, Hercules! Oh my god, I've been waiting for this moment. We have babied our little Shawnee beefle since day one! Look at him! Okay, so, <laughs> listen, he kinda looks like, he's like a sumo Hercules beetle, which is kinda dope. So, I mean, I guess I can't be too mad about it. My, my, my fortunes have been chosen. Here is Hercules. He's got Swarm. He has an insane attack stat. And he looks to be pretty bulky. He's got a really good HP stat. And his stats are pretty bad. Like, his, uh, his attacks are pretty bad. He's just got Power Punch for your cutter. But he's looking like he could be pretty powerful. I'm gonna check and see if he can learn any TMs. Yeah, no TMs of no. But now I gotta do this, uh, this Executor thing. So, he doesn't need the experience share anymore. Uh, he is, he is actually the highest level on our team by a lot. So we're gonna give him a different item. Let's see what I have. All right, I think the best item for him is actually just the Quick Claw. I took it off Excalibur because I feel like having the Quick Claw on Lancelot and having him being able to just outspeed things is worth more than what I would get otherwise. And then I know I picked up some hard stones. There we go. I'll give that to Excalibur. Um, now I think it's just a matter of training up Fibrato a little bit. I mean, training up Grey Wind could work too, but... Um, I gotta battle these executors, I guess. I don't really know if I just have to guess which ones have the pearls under them or what happens. I, he's just rooting for me still. Oh, this one. Oh, this guy's got an executor under him. Okay. Well, I'm gonna train up Fibrato at this point, so let's see what we got here. Would you like to open the ancient coffin? Sure. There's something inside. It's a water pearl. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Blue water pearl. Are there, like battles underneath these i'll take the xp honestly like i really need to train so i'll battle all these trainers too all right now she's got a war turtle yeah this is all just really good xp for me so i'm all over this like we need it so i'll just primal scream the problem is is like the homie fibrato is yeah he's gonna be able to do that but he's not gonna be able to really ooh, rain dance 
he's not really gonna want to take like a really strong water move right because he's, he's neutral to water it's not that he's he resists he's neutral so that's something we just have to keep in mind but we should be able to snag a level right here and that's really good and i didn't give anyone else the xp share so we can hopefully grab like a few levels on him alone and if if this coffin has a person in it no it doesn't okay well let's go find the other executors now all right so this one's gonna let me in same kind of situation and we probably have one battle and then an empty coffin there's the empty coffin and this one is the pearl and then i'm just gonna snag that battle because again we do want all the xp we can get at this point just because these trainers are valuable xp there's another one it's my man mazar all right what you got for me bro he's got that birigiri we know this thing is electric and water type now we learned a little bit about it we do have to be very careful though uh because he could hit us super effectively so let's go into kite i think kite's a really good bring water and electric gotta keep that in mind because if he goes for oh we got oh we have bro this whole time i forgot we had dry skin oh my god that's amazing we have dry skin we are immune to water moves how is that even things that's a thing we can do that that's crazy like for real that's crazy talk can we talk about that for a second my, we're about to take on the water gym and we are immune to water moves on one of our pokemon i love it i actually really think that's amazing that really is well i don't know what this xp thing is but oh, he still lived and we're taking infestation plus i gotta take a parabolic charge but i don't think he knocks me out so uh yeah we're good even after that he crit me there too he really did and he's gonna get some health back because parabolic charge is a really annoying move so be mindful of that if we face a birigiri later i'm glad i know it's typing now and Kai gets some good XP. He's got another Beerigiri. I gotta switch out this time. And let's go out into... I really don't wanna go Fibrato. I feel like that's a mistake. Let's go Groot. Groot has been heavy lifting. And he's been doing amazing things this entire gym. We can take Parabolic Charge all day. We resist both of his stabs. I feel like this thing definitely has like Crunch or something though. But we get his Horn Leech. He's gonna Brine. That's fine. And I'll get all that health back. Groot showing what Groot does, baby. Although not, you know, immune to getting destroyed because, you know, we face Crawdons or Sharpedos and stuff. That's going to be a problem. But Kai wants to learn Stockpile. That's what you learned, Stockpile? And now you want to learn Swallow? Can you learn a better move, bro? Spit up? This is the move set you want? Come on, bro. All right, this is the last Executor that we've got to go into. So I'm assuming the Pearl is on the right-hand side. Oh, I don't know how that even opened. Did I already come to this one? Oh, is there no trainer in this one? That was weird. It, like, it just glitched out the middle one and, like, never... Oh, I think that was just a glitch because there was legit nothing there. Yeah, that's weird. Well, I don't know, but I got all the pearls, so I guess we can move forward. I guess this is time. Like, this is it. I think we actually are going to take on the gym leader right now. And I'm not sure how I feel about this. Like, I'm not sure if I feel like I'm actually ready, guys. Like, I'm going to be real. We have a really strong team. We do. We have some really strong members of the team, but I am very scared. Oof, that's a tough decision. Do I go back and train and then go through this entire puzzle or do I just YOLO right now? All right, I'm gonna YOLO, let's do it. We're gonna pop these pearls into these shells and make them vanish like magic. And there is Nufar, the gym leader. I've been waiting for you. All right, let's see what you got. I'm ready for you. Groot's ready, I'm ready. My gym was designed to put a strain even on the brightest minds, but I see you went off without a hitch. Well, actually, I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Adri, but let's cut the pleasantries. I hereby welcome you to the grand finale of the Palm Tree game. Formerly, this game was known as Lillipup and Lucario, a name that I much prefer. What's the reason? Well, in the end, a defenseless Lillipup will be wolfed down by a predator. You can guess who's going to play as Lucario. Get ready to battle with all your strength. All right, Water Gym is up. She's got four Pokemon, and she's going to send out a Beerigiri. Okay. Um... I'm just gonna click Horn Leech, I think. And it has Bright Powder, so it could dodge our attacks. But let's just click Horn Leech. Here comes the Waterfall. We should take this unless I flinch. I get the Horn Leech off, I don't miss. And we straight up one shot the Beerigiri and get all that health back. Thank you very much. Get wrecked. I will take that. And we're gonna go straight to level 35 as well. Here comes a Haunchin. That's not even a water type. I'm gonna just click Willow. Got Crunch. Oh, we lived. And I missed the Willow! Come on, dude! You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Um, That's so bad. 
That's so bad, dude. Um, what level is it? Level 36, dude. I'm gonna get wrecked if I try to battle this thing. I need to heal up, but I can't. I can go Excalibur, maybe. Yeah, let's go Excalibur. Maybe he doesn't have a water move, or maybe I can just use this opportunity to heal. I could take one hit. He's gonna drag until he can't drag until me. This is really good. Okay, I'm gonna use my first potion on Groot. We need to get Groot healed up. So this is gonna be my first potion of the battle. Let's get Groot healed up. And he can't drag and tell me. He has Scald. And he does a good amount to us and gets the burn, which is very annoying, but I'm still alive. Like, I'm still chilling right now. And I'm above half. So I think I can take one more hit and I can go for Stealth Rock or Dazzling Gleam. I'm gonna go for Dazzling Gleam. He's gonna Aerial Ace me. This is actually going very well. I get a Dazzling Gleam off. And it does very little, but that's okay. I don't know what he's gonna do now. Um, Excalibur has done his thing. We've seen, I maybe he goes for Scald. We've seen what? Aerial Ace, Crunch, Scald, Dragon Tail. I would think he wants to go for Scald here. So I'm gonna go Groot again and try to get off a Will-O-Wisp. And he has a Dragon Fang and he goes for Scald. So he does exactly what I expected. He's not gonna burn. All right, let's hit a Will-O-Wisp this time. I hit it this time. And I, I think that means he Dragon Tail. Yeah, he does Dragon Tail. And he switches us out into Excalibur. Okay, that's not a big deal. I mean, I take burn damage, but not the end of the world. I'm not really keen on using my next potion. So I'm actually gonna just go back into Groot. I really don't want to use my next potion. Like I'd rather just go Groot and just try to leak seed. He's gonna scold. Fine, no burn, no burn, perfect. Now I'm gonna leech seed then. Cause like, if you're gonna keep doing this to me, I wanna get some health back every turn. He dragon tails me out again. That's fine, we take it. And in comes Kite. Kite is the play. So for him to dragon tail me, he has to, honestly, I might just leave Kite out and just dragon rage. He hyper potions, okay. So I'm gonna dragon rage. Unfortunately, the dragon tail very well could be coming right now. I don't really have an option. I don't want to take a Dragon Tail to the face. It seems like a very bad decision. I would love to go Excalibur. I'd love to go Groot. I can take one Dragon Tail, but that seems very risky. I need to heal Groot up. I think I need to just take this opportunity to heal Groot up and just trust that I can live a Dragon Tail right now. He has burned. Is that, is that too big of a risk? Is that too big of a risk? I can't go Excalibur. That's too risky. Lancelot come in, take a hit, but if he goes, yeah, that's too risky too. Groot is very risky here. I think I have to actually heal up Groot, guys. I, I recognize that if he hits a Dragon Tail, it could knock me out. I have to trust that I'm bulky enough to live it because he's burned. So, he goes for Crunch, okay. Best case scenario. I've used two potions, by the way. We have to remember that, two potions. That was best case scenario right there. I'm not even gonna lie, because now I get to just click Dragon Fit Rage. He crunches, fine. Dragon Rage. Also fine. Goodbye. Okay, Haunchen's gone. Not bad. Let's see what we got next. That's good. Excalibur gets some love. And here comes my Lotic. Um, excuse me? What am I supposed to do against this thing? Like, what am I supposed to do against my Lotic, bro? You for reals? Is this real life? Um, well then. I mean, I'd love to go Groot. I feel like... Is this thing gonna Dragon Pulse me to the face right now? Like, is that what I'm about to deal with? Dude, I don't wanna sack Excalibur. That seems like a terrible idea. He's totally gonna Dragon Pulse, I feel like. I can't go into Groot, because Groot's not gonna take two hits. I need Groot alive. I had to sack something, I think. I think I have to sack something. Sorry, Grey Wind. I think it's time. I think it's time for Grey Wind to go. I think so. I'm looking at my team, I'm like, what do I send in? If this Milotic has a dragon move, which I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it probably does, right? It's probably got a water move, an ice move, and a dragon move. That's that's a lot of Milotic coverage. I'm gonna go Great Wind. I'm sorry. It's level 38, bro, like. Great Wind, hang in there, buddy. Ice Beam, oh wait, that's okay. Oh, that just means that I can't go Groot, though. This thing is gonna be a problem for Groot, too. It's got leftovers, of course. Maybe I'm faster, I can have flinch. Now he's gonna scald. That might be the end. Grey Wind's still living though. Little chip damage. Little hail damage. I gotta sack off Grey Wind. 
Yeah, this is the end of Grey Wind here. He's got Ice Beam, dude. How am I supposed to deal with that? How am I supposed to deal with Ice Beam? I don't understand. I think I just Ice Shard for any chip damage I can get right now. Sorry, Grey Wind. I don't know if Groot can live an Ice Beam. Milotic's pretty strong. Milotic is pretty strong. Like, I'm not convinced that this is like my play, right? I mean, I would love to go Groot and just click, click Leech Seed right now. I would love to go Groot and click Leech Seed. What does he have? He's got leftovers. Yeah, we knew that. I would love to Leech Seed here. I, I think Horn Leech is my better option, but I think Leech Seed is the safest option for the long term of the battle. So I'm gonna go for it. Hopefully, I live this Ice Beam. Come on, Groot. Okay. Okay, we get some health back. We get some health back here and I mean Groot is very low right like we have one potion left I have to decide how I want to do this I feel like Lancelot could come in here but I don't know how safe of a bet that is yeah if he ice beams he's gonna do so much damage to me I mean Lancelot is my highest level what's Lancelot's special defense 56 dude he's really frail on the special side I could go Farbrado to take a hit. If he goes for Ice Beam, I think that's my risk. I think I gotta go Farbrado. I'm such a low level, dude. Dragon Pulse. Oh, that was super effective, dude. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well then. Uh. I think I go Lancelot. Dude, we are just getting obliterated right now, dude. Lancelot, hang in there, buddy. I wish I had protect right now. He's gonna ice beam. Okay, okay. Actually, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. But I don't know if like we're in range to take a Scald though, are we? I don't know if I have the ability to find out. I think I actually just have to attack. I think I legit have to just click here and attack, dude. I don't get health help back. Please tell me I live. Oh my God, we're still alive. We're still alive, but barely. Here comes a Kafagragus. What is that? Level 36 Kafagragus. What am I doing right now? I gotta go kite, I think. I think I gotta go kite and hope he goes for a water move and heals me up. Is he ghost in water? Like, what is he? He goes for a scald, he heals me up, okay. This is my chance. I need to heal up my starter. I need to heal up my starter. I'm faster. I need to heal up my starter right now. All right, we're gonna hyper potion and we're gonna heal up. I think Fibrato is the play. Cause I feel like this thing might be ghost type and I think I'm gonna need to hit him with a uh, a sound move. He's gonna ancient power. Oh my God, he did so much to me. That was my last potion guys. That was my last potion, I'm pretty sure. So this is it. I have to choose who I'm sacrificing and Kite, I think this is your, ch your time buddy, I'm sorry. I'm clicking dragon rage. It's not very effective. Oh, that's normal. Don't get a boost. Sorry Kite. I'm sorry, Kite. Okay, I gotta go Fibrato. This thing is very slow. I'm going to Fibrato and I'm clicking my, my Primal Screech. This should do it, it's super effective. Yes, oh my God, dude, that was a massacre. Your power rushed me like a torrent. Oh my gosh. What a great battle. That was awfully good. You will really go far, A-Drive. I'm sure about it. With my badge, you've already got four of them, so you're not an average trainer anymore. And the title badge is ours, but it was not without struggle. We lost two members of our team. I'll be real. I had to be kind of strategic there. And the two members that we lost, I feel like I do have good options. We get Scald, which is really good. I have good options. And now we got to go to Sunflare Canyon, but I need to train up before I go anywhere. But if we look at our team, we lost Grey Wind and Kite. Dude, Lancelot at 4 HP. I kept Excalibur alive. 
Clearly, I need a level. Um, these two, I have Galvantula and I have, you know, two dragon options. That was why I went that route. That was my best bet, guys. Unfortunately, two really, really sad losses for the team. So I need you guys to show some love. I need you guys to hit that like button down below. Let me know what your favorite water type Pokemon is, of course. And I think before I continue for the next episode, I have to do obviously a tremendous amount of training once again because I was under leveled for that gym. I thought I was fine, dude. We grinded so much, but unfortunately we lose two members of our team, which is very unfortunate. Um, I do think that if I was gonna lose two members, I mean, we worked so hard for Kite, dude. I really love Grey Wind. I really did like both of those Pokemon. I think that those are the two to lose because now I have the opening. I think for sure we're, we're gonna either add, I think two of these four on the bottom makes the most sense to me. Two of these four. I've heard this dude is really good. This paper cut, bro. Um, and I know you guys want one of these two. So I'll let you guys also let me know in the comments. And this thing can learn Sticky Whip. So that could be really strong too. That's where we're at, guys. We're down to just four members right now, and I gotta figure out what to do next, but you know what? Such is a Nuzlocke. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pokemon Xenoverse. Peace. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this one right here. Otherwise, this one's pretty awesome too. Check out one of these two videos, and I'll see you guys next time.